today we are playing scenario four from the Explorers and Pirates expansion and this is called the Spices for Catan. So again make sure that you have played scenario one, two, and three in this expansion because they all build on each other. Uh, right in front of me this is what is new in this scenario. So there's going to be this extra water piece. It's quite a big board. This is the G. These are spices. This is the spice mission card. So very similar to the fish right here. Every time you deliver a spice back to here, you move up on the mission card and you get victory points along the way. If you are the furthest on the mission card, you will get this bonus victory point. So for spices for Catan, you are playing, like I said, with the fish, but you are not playing with the pirate layers. So it's just the spices and the fish for this one. Like the fish, there are special tiles. These ones here in front of me. They have the symbols on the back. They are part of the mystery islands, green moons and orange suns. And there are three different kinds. I'm just going to put the different kinds right here in front of me. All right, so these are villages. These are the villages where the spices are. So when you move your ship and it touches the corner of one of these hexes, you will turn it over. When you find a spice village, first thing you'll do is you will get two gold coins. The second thing you're going to do is you're going to place as many spices as there are players. So we are going to be playing a three player game. So we would place three spices on this village. With your ships, you will take your crew members. When you pull up, your crew member comes off. Your crew member is now there permanently. You cannot take off the crew member. And to replace the crew member, you take one spice, put it on your ship and go deliver it to here. Once it's delivered, you will move up the mission card. Now that your crew member is on there, you may not deliver any more crew members to this village. That's it. But once you have a crew member on these villages, each village gives you a benefit. So for example, this village allows you to move your boat an extra one movement speed an extra one movement turn. So instead of only being allowed to move your boat four, if you have a crew member on this village, you would get to move each of your boats five. There are two of these. If you had a crew member on both, you would get to move each boat six movement spaces. Same thing goes for this one. If you have a crew member placed on it, you may trade in one resource card of your choice for a gold coin. And you can do that one time per turn. Unless you have a crew member on both. Then you would be able to do that two times per turn. The third type of village 
gives you an advantage against the pirate ship. So if you remember to chase away the pirate ship, this guy here, you must roll a six. If you have a crew member on this village, you can roll a five or a six to chase away the pirate ship. Again, there are two of them. So if you had a crew member on both of these, you could chase away a pirate ship if you rolled a four, a five, or a six. And that's it really for the spices of Catan. Um, pretty basic, transporting things back and forth. I guess one thing I will point out is, so let's say there's a few hexes with spices on them. You can pull your boat with two crew members, drop off one, pick up a spice, and move to the second one, drop off a crew member, pick up a spice. That is totally legal as long as you have enough movement spaces to do so. Once your boat is full, you would take your spices and drop them off over here at this hex. And that's about it for Spices of Catan. So we're going to go ahead and set up the board. And if I have forgotten to explain anything, we will stop it again before we actually roll uh, to place. And we'll explain the order in which you place before we start playing the game. set up in the green moons and the orange suns we did take out um, I believe it was two of the water hexes that the, just the regular sea hexes we did have to take out um, check the instruction booklet it tells you exactly what you will need for the green moons and exactly what you will need for the orange suns um, so definitely check that out so, how we place, we've rolled. Blue is going first. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to place a harbor settlement. After blue places the harbor settlement, red will place their harbor settlement. Then orange. And then orange will place a settlement. Red will place a settlement. And then blue will place a settlement and a road on the settlement, as well as a ship with a settler in the hold. Then red will place a road. Road. And a ship with a settler in it. And then orange will place the road and a ship with a settler. So that is going to be the exact order that you are placing everything in. Um, actually, I, I think I can speak for everybody at the table. We really enjoy placing the roads and things at the very end like that, adding in that third turn, because I know sometimes we get frustrated and then some people even ask to move roads because people block them in, which can be the fun of Catan, but we're definitely not that type of playing family. So I think we may end up building this actual um, order even when we play a base game, let's say, um, is to place the roads at the very end and bring it back. So this is the order that we're going to place. I think I have covered everything when it comes to the spices. So we're going to go ahead and play and let's see who wins.
game. So Explorers and Pirates does take a little bit longer than your average Catan. Uh, we're, we run between an hour and 15 and an hour and a half for these games. Um, make games shorter, you can always lessen the victory points that you need, I guess. Up your numbers, don't play with threes and ones. Yep, and we don't play with twos and twelves, so I'm yeah. sure it would go even further if we, or even longer if we did play with those. Everybody would get gold on three. <clears throat> yeah. So, we, uh, orange one, dad one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. He's under here. Fifteen, sixteen. That's all, so keep playing and have fun.